1500 meters T13 final. Four runners. Including the European record holder, Greta Strimkita of Ireland. So the four in the meters, representing Spain. Spain's Iskason. Jose Sayaka, who's going from Spain on lane four. Inside her, Greta Strimkita. Of Ireland, heavily fancied. Born in Vilnius in Lithuania. Moved to Ireland in 2010. Turkey's Asli Adali, her first major championships. 20 years of age. And on the inside, Maria del Carmen Paredes Rodriguez. Interesting story about her. It's her husband, Lorenzo Sanchez Martin, who's her guide. She only took up running at the age of 42. Her husband convinced her. Well, they're running as a pair in this one. T13 is optional to run with a guide. The least of the visually impaired categories. So they're ready to get underway. waiting for the starters orders which I'm sure will come very shortly and away they get Australia Makita who gets away at the first time of asking quickly out to the front so she's already a couple of meters out as you would expect it's Asli Adali and is it's going Osses Ayaka of Spain, who's in third position and just trailing up there is the second of the Spaniards, Maria del Carmen Paredes Rodriguez, who's with her guide uh, at the back. So this is a straight out final. Stramikita at the front. Top three of her, Asli Adali. Osses Ayaka of Spain, as they come across down the finishing straight for the first time. They'll have three laps remaining as they head across on the finishing line here. So it's Stramkita of Ireland who leads. They go through with 1,200 to go. Yeah, three laps remaining. Stramkita out in front and looking very good for it at the moment. Is Askun Osses Ayukar of Spain in second place? Gave birth to her first child in December, Ico, and obviously... Her husband, Daniel Zudare, is a national level athlete in his own right back in Spain. Silver in the 400, 1500, that's quite a spread in terms of the women's T13. And Asli Adali of Turkey, the first major check, is still going very well in third position with Maria Paredes Rodriguez behind the rest. She's the uh, T12 going with the guide as she is entitled to do it being medium visual impairment. The rest T13 have to go with that. Stray Makita, who's gone through DCU, a very good athletics college, university of coach, the Lord in Edith Fitzpatrick. She's done international relations. Been a documentary better as well. Well, if she pulls through with a strong result here, having won bronze in the last Europeans at Grosseto two years ago, they might have to make another one updated. She's looking very good. It's a solid lead for Stray Makita for Ireland. Ozzes, a Yukar in second place. Back a good bit to Adali in third with two laps to go. Yeah, Stray is looking very solid, isn't she, out there in front? She's got a lead of about 10 to 15 metres at the moment of uh, Ozzes Ayakar. She's formerly a cha national champion in, in Taekwondo do, and now uh, he's on the track and not doing the martial arts. So in third place there, it's uh, Asli Adali uh, of Turkey, but trailing back a good 50 metres or so behind. It's uh, Maria Paredes Rodriguez with her guide, her husband, trying to egg her on and get her home quick there, but it's Astray Makita who moves into the final half of this lap on that back straight. She's opened up that lead now to a good uh, 20 metres over uh, Osses Ayaka of Spain as they move around 
with around the 200 metres remaining on this lap. She's looking very, very solid out in front is the Irish athlete. I mentioned there, obviously, being born in uh, uh, Vilnius in Lithuania, moving over to Ireland back in 2010. She's been quite a revelation for Irish para-athletics as she moves around here into the home straight. There's some athletes there warming up on the side, so she's well inside them, but she's opened up quite a gap now. It's up to around 30 metres. As she really moves forward, she'll come through to take the bell and she'll have 400 metres left to go if she is to improve on that European record in the T13, which she currently holds at 4.43.42. There goes the bell. It stretches straight Makita, who leads for Ireland in this women's 1500 metres final. Osa Ziyuka in second place, around 40 metres behind now. A big gap, around 150 metres. Adali is in third position. Jane Makita looking very solid as she goes into the shadows of this Frederick Ludwig Jan Stadium in Berlin. There's the bell for third place for Adali. That lead is increasing all the time. It's very, very solid for Strain Makita. Fourth in London at last year's World Champions. Fourth in the Paralympic Games in Rio. But she's looking very good for a European gold here. She's holding a very solid advantage, 50 metres or so, as you can see, over Asaskun Ozes Ayukar of Spain, the former Nash from Pamplona, silver on the double in the last European Championships two years ago. Bronze in the 1500 metres ahead of Stray Makita in Rio at the Paralympic Games. The closing straight, Greta Stray Makita leads for Ireland ahead of Ozes Ayukar. And it's gone according to plan for her. She's out on her own. And well, Claire, Michael McKellar's been so successful in the men's circuit. But now, Greta Stray Makita's the European champion for Ireland in the women's 1500 metres, 448, 55. She won by a long way. Is Askun Ozezayuka second for Spain? But Ireland strike gold. She's the first Irish athlete competing this week. And she's a European champion. Asli Adali is going to come through to win the bronze medal for Turkey. And a major championship debut. And that's a great story in its own right for the 20 year old. Comes through in around 520. But Greta Stray Makita, whose dad moved to Ireland in 2006, the rest of the family moved four years later. It's a common thing in Eastern Europe, moved from Lithuania to Ireland. She's come through the Irish system and she's European champion now. Fourth for Paredes Rodriguez. Spain in second and fourth, but the European champion for Ireland, Greta Stray Makita. 4.48, 54 the winning time. And there's a documentary to update now. Great win. Yeah, she went out from the start, didn't she? Immediately when they went out from the start, as always, she was out by about two or three metres straight away. She extended that to around 15 metres over Osi Sayuka. And then from there, in the last four to 500 metres, she stretched it out even further. Six seconds outside that European mark she set back in May of this year. But she won't care, because later on she'll be presented with a gold medal being European champion. Joins the Legion of Great Middle Distance Champions for Ireland, not just Dr. McKillop, but Sonia Sullivan, Eamon Cochlan, Ronnie Delaney. Always a classic distance for Irish runners. And Greta Strain-Makita is the European